All right, good morning. Fred here, back in the shop, working on the 2023 Sprinter cargo van. Uh, I just wanted to do a recap of where I'm at with the electrical system. So I did a bunch of videos and well, I think I just formatted over them, but anyway, I didn't really want to cut them all together. So I just want to do a recap of where we're at. Okay, so all these factory sprinter vans, right, whether it's a cargo van, a crew van, or a passenger van, come with electrical wiring harness, which is on the interior of the skeleton of the van. Okay, it runs right down here where my finger's going, and it's always in the way. So anyway, people have to figure out a way to work around that. Some people panel over it and put a cover plate. Anyway, I don't do that. I take this wiring harness and I put it up above the ceiling ribs and below the uh, skin of the roof. So <clears throat> in order to do that, right, I remove the interior cover of that wiring harness. If it's a cargo van, it has a plastic cover that runs front to back. If it is a crew van or a passenger van, it's not going to have that cover. So anyway, remove that cover. Once that cover's off, I pull the wires out into a location where I feel comfortable cutting them, right? So I only cut the wires that drop down to the uh, rear taillights, right? So that's this side right here, which would have been on the outside over here. That gets cut and I cut it right where I can pull it out of this rectangular opening in order to re-solder these wires together and shrink wrap them. Okay, on the driver's side, I cut these wires in a location where I can add on to the wires and then pull it back through and make a solder. So there's two solder joints that have to happen over here and just the one solder joint happens over here, obviously times 10 wires or whatever. Okay, one thing you have to make certain that you do is you don't cut the whole wiring harness. Okay, you only cut the wires that drop down to those tail lights. Otherwise, there is a coax cable right here. If you cut that, you're gonna have to figure out how to splice that back together. Okay, so do not cut this main wiring harness. It would make your job easier in the short run, but harder in the long run trying to figure out how to fix that coax cable. So, Anyway, once you cut that, you can pop all of the attachments which hold it up to the side of the van. Then the wire is draped down. Okay, it comes up to somewhere in this area up here and is draped to the ground. From there, you have to remove the front cockpit area for the most part, the headliner, the sun visors, the B pillar, you have to lower down the airbags that either has to be lowered down or has to come out. Okay, once it's lowered down or is removed, you're able to drill one inch diameter holes with a one inch diameter hole saw, right? Once you drill those, you can deburr it with a round file and then use some etching primer and touch up those cuts. Okay, so you have to drill holes on this ceiling rib which is right above the b pillar so that's number one you go over two three and four over the rib in between the ceiling you drill number five you go over six seven and then you drill number eight on both sides and then you have to drill the back of the van anytime you're drilling these you want to make sure that you are not drilling in any upward angle Right, so this one's important because if you drill an upward angle, you could be drilling through the exterior of the van. So you don't wanna do that. Okay, once you drill those, now you can start pulling this wire through, okay? So in order to do that, you actually have to run a grommet from the far end of the wire harness all the way to here. Once the grommet is over the wire, then you can pull the wire through this first ceiling rib. Okay, once it's all the way through, you can run another grommet all the way down the wire, plug it in here, okay? Once you get through this area right here, you want to take some electrical tape and you tape all of these grounding lugs 
right? You tape these in a fashion where they're flat and then you're gonna tape them to the wire so they're flat. These guys here, you wanna tape together so that they're flat-ish, okay? The reason you're doing that is so that the wires can sneak up and over the ceiling rib below the roof skin, okay? So anyway, you can do that right at the start if you want to. I did it after the start, uh, right before I went over the ceiling rib. Anyway, once you do that, you pull that all the way down. Uh, you get to a point down here and we are going to put a new grounding lug in up high like so. This ground lug is gonna get removed. Uh, what else are we doing? So these wires right here are gonna get reconnected and this one wire here is gonna get cut off and lengthened. This is the switch wire for the factory overhead lighting. So that one I'm gonna extend and it's gonna come all the way down here just in front of the door or just behind the door opening. So that'll extend down to here. For the rear light, I always put a factory rear light back in here, but it's not the one with the switch. So I take this wire here and run it back into this area. Okay, um, I like a factory light right here. So that way, if there are any issues with the backup camera or the rear uh, brake light that's up on this high side here, you can just pop out this factory light just like a normal technician at Mercedes would do. So we're not permanently covering that with anything. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, Following that will be another video talking about prepping uh, the van for the wall paneling as well as insulating all of this guy here and then putting all the uh, cockpit area back together. So anyway, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.